Good morning, St. Pius. Today is Wednesday, May 10th, 2023. Uh, we're celebrating a couple birthdays today. Uh, actually, happy belated birthday to Coach LaBerge. Her birthday was yesterday and I forgot, so I'm sorry, Coach LaBerge. I know you get up early and you watch this when you brush your teeth in the morning. Um, so if you see Coach LaBerge today, tell her happy birthday. Uh, happy birthday today in seventh grade to Lily Bellis and uh, in pre-K to Juliet O'Brien. So I hope you guys have great birthdays today. Uh, just another beautiful day, high of 72 degrees, sunny. Uh, this week is just putting me in a great mood. I'm, I'm ready for summer and ready for golf season, right? Um, hot lunch today, our choices are chicken enchilada or grab bag. After school clubs today, we've got art club, knitting club, Hippocrates, and then track, right? You guys have your meet today, four o'clock in Water Valley. Uh, so best of luck to our track team today. Tomorrow, grades K through two will be going on their end of the year field trip uh, to see uh, Pinkalicious at the Cohoes Music Hall. So sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, I know you guys are going to have a good time. Our goal this week, it's all about appreciating our teachers. Uh, here's an easy tip for you guys today. Uh, listen to your teachers the first time, right? Uh, there's nothing uh, uh, more upsetting for teachers uh, than having to repeat themselves multiple times. So do them a favor today, and when they're talking, you're not, your mouth is closed, your listening ears are on. Uh, appreciate your teachers today by listening to them the first time. I know you can do it. Hey, uh, next Friday, we have our Race for Education. Uh, we've got some awesome prizes, uh, throws at the dunk tank, dress down passes, some awesome uh, St. Pius swag. Uh, I wanted to give everyone an update because uh, I know a lot of you guys have been working really hard and raising a lot of money for our school. Remember, all the money raised goes to our technology. That means new iPads, Chromebooks, smart boards, all that good stuff. Uh, so uh, we have uh, some friends. Uh, we'll do the top five today, okay? So we've got a tie for fourth place uh, at $520, Cecilia Papalizio and 6-1, uh, tied with Regina Nobles in Miss Dennis's third grade uh, in Third place, we have Anthony Campagna in Mrs. Smith's kindergarten class. Uh, coming in in second place so far, uh, in seventh grade, Jason Bond. Uh, nice job, Jason. And in first place, uh, doing an amazing job. Also from Mrs. Smith's uh, kindergarten classroom, Henry Dignam, almost $1,000 you've raised so far. So nice job to all my friends uh, here on, on the leaderboard. And uh, I, I know you guys are working really hard. So I'm looking forward to updating this leaderboard as we get closer. Today's the feast of St. Damien Joseph. St. Damien was a Belgian priest who went on mission to the kingdom of Hawaii. There, he taught the Catholic faith to the indigenous people of Hawaii. The Hawaiian king quarantined people who suffered from leprosy into a colony. St. Damien helped the lepers by organizing and building farms, schools, houses, roads, hospitals, and churches. St. Damien eventually died in the colony from leprosy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What do you think Jesus means when he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life? We know that Jesus and following Jesus is the way to God, is the way to heaven. He is true. 
He is right. He is goodness. And he gives us our life, right? Jesus is everything, the way, the truth, and the life. Let us stand in prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a great day, everyone.